Hello everybody, uh, this is just a quick tutorial showing you how to create a simple dialogue thing in Minecraft. So basically I want to show three parts of dialogue, it's very important to know how many parts your dialogue contains. Um, I don't really have like, uh, an idea for what my dialogue is going to be, but we'll make that up as we go. But the first thing you want to do is you're going to give yourself a command block, just like this. Uh, and then you're going to place one here, one here. I'm gonna go two blocks apart, one here, one here, one here, one here. And I'm gonna have to repeat this for as many times you how many parts you have. So this is one, two, three, because I have three parts. Then you're gonna have to place another one on top of this and select chain and always active. Remember that's very important, otherwise it just won't work. The same thing here, and then you're gonna have to actually start coding. So what we want is when we place a redstone block here, the first part of the dialogue begins. And then we can like click an arrow inside of the dialogue and chat to advance to the next dialogue. So of course uh, we want to be able to reset this easily. So we're gonna put a command in this command block that replaces this redstone block with air. So first of all we have to find out like where what relative coordinate we have to use. So it, as I'm moving like this, I'm moving on the x-axis and I'm moving in a, in a negative x-axis like this. So here I'm gonna do set block and then negative on the x-axis and then air. So this means that when I press the rest of block here, it automatically gets reset. Uh, this is, you can disable this, but I will right now. So this way we can easily restart the dialogue or reset it. Then this one is where the actual dialogue is going to be, but that's not right now. Here we are going to do uh, the same relative thing, but we want to place something here. Uh, so we want to place a block here, relative to this block. So what we want to do is go to save again. Now, right now we're moving uh, the positive z axis and uh, one block down. So like. Uh, plus one with that, plus one with that, minus one y. So that means set block uh, minus one here and then two here. What do we what do we want to set here? Uh, like an invisible block. I'm going to use the light block. Uh, this is an example of what a light block is. It's basically an invisible light source. If I'm holding the item, I can see it. But if I don't hold the item, after a while, it will disappear like a barrier block. You can also make this. You can also just do a barrier or any other block. As long as your dialogue commands aren't visible, but you know, I'm gonna use light right now. Now, why is why am I doing this? Well, if we want to advance to the next dialogue, like click the arrow in dialogue, it's going to uh, check for any light blocks in this area, and it's going to replace them with a redstone block, so then the next dialogue will show up. This way, we can store in what part of the dialogue we currently are. So now we actually have to form our dialogue, including the arrow to go to the next thing. So now, now I'm gonna go over to. Uh, a web browser and go into minecraftjson.com this is a web this is a website i use all the time to generate tower rock commands make sure you have this selected here and then you can add anything so first of all we're gonna have to what i always do to format my dialogue is have someone saying something so in this case i'm gonna use like bowser or something doesn't really matter to choose anything make sure to add a space between the name of the speaking character and the actual dialogue uh ah, mario i stole all your spaghetti this is completely stupid, I don't actually know what I'm doing, but... Then we're gonna make sure to add another space, because now we're going to make that arrow I talked about. Now you can make this any look like how you want, but I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, pretty easy. I make it green, because it stands out. Now, when you click it, we want to replace all the light in this area with rest of blocks. To do that, we're gonna use a fill command. So we're gonna place a block here, and type slash fill, and then we're gonna... Uh, press the tab button on our uh, keyboard to autofill the command with the coordinates of the block that I'm looking at right here. Uh, if you enter it right now, it, uh, it's obviously going to give an error because you need another coordinate and a block. But uh, this way we can call the command that we just entered back here. So then we can just press the up arrow to get that back. And then uh, fill it up again with the tab button to get this coordinate. And then we can fill it up with redstone blocks. Of course we do not want the entire frame to be redstone blocks. We only want to replace the light blocks with redstone blocks. Then make sure to co copy this command. How do you, you can do that by holding shift and the left arrow or any other arrow and then uh, holding it until the entire thing is copied. Then you, you could just uh, release those and press Ctrl C. Now we're going to go back to here and under click event choose run command. Uh, I did this wrong but make sure to add, to add a slash here like you would in the Minecraft chat otherwise it won't work. And there you go, that's how you do it. Now we have to copy the command that it outputs. Right here you can also add slash, but that doesn't really matter. And we're going to put that in the first 
uh, block over here. Now, as you may have noticed, this command, this command are both relative, like these uh, tildes. So we can just reuse them there and there. Now, to do that, we can hold the control button on the keyboard and also press the uh, the mouse scroll button to copy the NBT, the command inside of it. And then we can just place them here and they will have the command inside of them already. So that way you don't have to retype them like a million times. Now I'm going to uh, make some more dialogue like um, Now you will only have pasta. I don't really know what I'm typing here but you know. You don't have to change anything else. So then we just put that in here. And then of course the final uh, part of the dialogue does not have this arrow so we'll just delete that entirely. Um, yeah, and then you, I don't know what else, save Bowser, uh, ha it doesn't really matter. Just like that, just like that, and then you put it here. So now our entire thing should work if I press a rest of luck here. Uh, also you can disable these commands I think, so game rule, um, command lock output false. Now if you click this it will still say like successfully filled blocks. You can disable that with, um, Send command B feedback pulse. Now it should do that. Let's restart the dialogue here. Haha, Mario, so spaghetti. Now you will only have pasta. I also, I forgot the space for this one. Uh, so don't forget your space here. Just go into the uh, command and find where that is. Here, space. Boom. Oh. There now, there should be a space. Oh, there should be a space. Yeah, that's correct. Boom, and the last thing doesn't have the uh, thing. If you click this, nothing really happens. It shows an error, but you're not even supposed to do it, so that's how it works. So that's my idea for a simple dialogue system inside of Minecraft. Currently, there are no ways to do optional dialogue, but you could do that when uh, you have multiple options instead of an arrow. Just um, set a redstone block uh, at another dialogue, and so just, I don't know. You can figure it out, you can make the entirety of Undertale with this or something else that I'm working on uh, right now, which I won't spoil right now, but um, you'll see about that in the future. It's a big project and I'm waiting for someone to make a trailer for it so that I can start releasing devlogs for it. It'll be awesome and then I'll also make sure I don't have to really make original content anymore so I can just pump out devlogs for two years, that's good. But um, if you like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I like making these. And if you want more of these tutorials, make sure to let me know what you want to make in the future so I can uh, make a tutorial on it. Bye!